this edge. And that's on there for a reason. I'll show you what we do with it shortly. Going in hard, that's that's good. There, bottom out. Well, we see. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and push these other ones in and uh, I'll show you the finish what we have to do to finish them okay now we're going to show you why that little chamfer is on there take a bar you know something taper got a taper on it and put it in there and you roll it around that bushing and that sort of helps lock lock the bushing in to that chamfer you want to always check it close to the, close to the vise here so you won't bend the rod And there you can see, see how it rolled it. And now we got a couple more steps to do to it. We got to drill our holes for the oil, and we got to go up to the honing machine and hone it for a pin fit. Using a 3 16 bit here, that's what size the hole were. And it don't matter now if, if the bit hits a little bit on the bottom side because it's going to be honed out anyway.
starts to get close. I'm gonna go ahead and set my dial board gauge up so I can tell, tell you know, what size we're getting. Now I got this one honed out here. I'll show you on the dial board gauge. I got I got my dial board gauge uh, set for a thousandths clearance. So uh, open get where you can see it here. Right there's thousandths clearance. And we're going down in the bottom. Got a thousandths there, so we're in good shape on this one. Uh, show you how the pin fits. Just barely will fall through. I wash it off and, and, and it will. It's the oil. You can see. So, got a good job on that one. So, I hope you can see in there. I hope it shows you, explains a little bit about bushing the rod. Quite a little work to do it. So, uh, thanks for watching.